Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about elevator control. So let's look at the example first. Elevator emergency stop. When the emergency button is pressed, stop the elevator immediately, open the doors once stopped. When reset button is pressed, it clears the faults that is the doors will close and the elevator will start again. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will be also <coughs> using some memory bits. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, I will go to PLC tags default arc table so here we need to add our inputs and outputs so the first one is the start button that will on pressing the start button the whole process will start and then we have emergency emergency stop and then we have reset button. So we have three inputs and we have some outputs like the elevator, the mechanism that is used to drive the elevator. Then we have another that is door. So this is an output. So its address will be Q 0, 0.0. And similarly, the address for the door will also be will also start with Q. So it will be Q 0.1. After that, I will go to program blocks, then main OP1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. I will zoom into it. Firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for start button. And then I will insert a coil for the elevator. So this is start button and the coil is for the elevator. After that, uh, I will use the second rung here. So this uh, normally open contact is for emergency stop and then a coil that is will be used for a memory bit. So this is emergency stop and when emergency stop button is pressed, then a memory bit gets activated, M0.0 .0 gets activated, and I will latch it here. So I will open the branch, add a normally open contact, then close. So this will be M0.0. .0. And when M0.0 .0 gets true, when emergency stop is turned on, this elevator should turn off. So here we will use a normally closed contact that will be M0.0, M0.0. So when emergency uh, stop gets activated, this M0.0 gets through and when this M0.0 gets through, elevator stops. With that, this M0.0 will turn on, will, uh, will open the doors. So I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will be M0.0 so when this gets activated, doors will also get open. With that, we have another input that is a reset button. For that, I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil for memory bed. And this will be reset button. And this coil will be another memory bed that is M0.1. And this M0.1, I will latch it here. So I'll open the branch, add a normally open contact and then close. So this will be M0.1. This M0.1 will be used here. So this will be, there will be a normally closed contact and its address will be M0.1. So what happens is that <clears throat> when start button is turned on, elevator gets on, and when emergency stop is pressed, then M0.1, M0.0 gets through. And when M0.0 gets through, elevator stops. And when M0.0 gets through, door opens. 
and when reset button is pressed this m0.1 gets through and when m0.1 gets through i will cut it here and then paste it here so when uh, reset button is pressed m0.1 gets through and when m0.1 gets through m0.0 gets off and when m0.0 gets off elevator starts again and this door gets uh, closed so i will start simulation here okay After that, after that, I will start CPU, click on OK, and then I will start monitoring. With that, I will switch to project view here, and there we need to create a new project. Let's create a new project, create, and wait for some time. We'll go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1. Here I will right click there and load project tax. So as you can see here, when I turn on start button, elevator gets on and you can see doors are closed. And then <coughs> When emergency uh, stop button is pressed, this M0.0 gets through and when M0.0 gets through, elevator stops. And with that, this M0.0 opens the door. And then, when reset button is turned on, this M0.1 gets through and when this M0.1 gets through, this M0.0 gets through. Sorry, this M0.0 gets off and when this M0.0 gets off as it is a normally closed contact in full state the current flows through it, this elevator gets on. And with that these uh, doors or we can see the door of the elevator gets closed. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.